As I'm filming, this is the second week in the semester. Uh, I want to welcome everybody for, uh, to 66 one uh, Ethics and Information Society. I'm Brad uh, Compton. I'm the instructor for the course, and we've all, hopefully at this point, have, have met by the discussion board. And I'd like to at least do one video lecture as an introduction. Hopefully I can do more throughout the semester. Uh, I always intend to uh, with, with these online classes and then uh, time dictates whether that happens or not. Um, especially with these completely asynchronous courses. It's uh, I like to add this dimension of, of, of synchronous communication to make it a little bit more personal and to kind of, you know, get that part of the brain working where you see a person talking and, <laughs> and hear words and things like that. So what I'm going to do is, is kind of give a, a discussion about the course, uh, mostly just dealing with the first two weeks of material, you know, projecting uh, the coming weeks, you know, addressing the syllabus, the, uh, the course material, and then, uh, and then concluding. And that entails, you know, talking about the nature of philosophy and ethics and the different areas of ethics and, you know, kind of telescoping that into information ethics, uh, how that's applied to our field, uh, and then talking about it, how we will be addressing it in our class, and then talking about assignments and, and grading criteria, and then, and then kind of wrap up. So... We had a good discussion this week on the boards. Uh, I asked the question, you know, what do you what do you think philosophy is? And you know, I have an undergraduate degree in philosophy, and and, and it, uh, I always try to make clear I I don't. I'm not a philosopher. I, you know, I do. In my dissertation, dealt with philosophy. It looked at philosophy, but I don't consider uh, well, what I do philosophy for the most part. I mean, I, I do some philosophy, but I'm not a philosopher, except in this kind of traditional sense. If you look at the etymology of the word philosophy, the ancient Greek, you know, the word uh, philosophy broken down means love or uh, friendship with wisdom. So. In that kind of traditional sense, you know, I like to look at these uh, these issues, uh, ask these questions, and ethics is w when we're looking at ethics, we're looking at philosophical issues. And one of the and so I mean, <clears throat> and I talked about this in one of the one of the threads. And, and some of you have seen this in since you're graduate students and have done and have been looking at master's theses and things like this. Um, you know the ter the the degree PhD stands for uh, Doctor of Philosophy, and so that means you know it's supposed to mean that when you're at that level of work and and even at the master's level when you're doing a, a master's thesis, it's you're supposed to be doing things that are philosophical, and uh, that will be clearer uh, when I talk about what I'm about to say. Um, there's a someone we're going to be looking at uh, who I who is a philosopher, Luciano Floridi, who is uh, who does work in information ethics, who has defined a uh, kind of 
identified and defined a field called the philosophy of information also uh, addresses information ethics. Uh, very nice man, very, uh, very uh, accomplished scholar. Um, and I, I've communicated with him over the years uh, when I was first getting started in graduate work. Uh, he does work. He's he works with, at Oxford and uh, the University the Gallia, Italy, various other places. He's done work with uh, Elizabeth Buchanan at our school. He uh, in one of his papers he talks about you know, philosophy, and this is an overgeneralization, and this is. This is something that you have to do a lot of times in philosophy uh, because it, it deals necessarily with things, I mean, it, by, by its nature, it deals with things that are kind of up for debate. So you have to kind of overgeneralize a lot of times. And so he says, philosophy for the most part asks the question, it's, it's, what is X? You know? uh, and there's two pr primary ways of going about that. One is phenomenological in this very general sense. Uh, and the other is meta-theoretical. And so the phenomenological sense uh, is like it said, uh, you know, I'll ask the question, what is knowledge? And so you have an area of philosophy called epistemology that asks the question, what is knowledge? And you'll have an area of philosophy that asks, what is being or, or what is? And that is ontology. Um, and so you get a sense of uh, of that kind of philosophy. But then there's meta-theoretical philosophy that doesn't deal with just uh, phenomena as such, but it deals with um, issues outside of the convention of established disciplines. So, so there's, you know, philosophy of film, philosophy of history, philosophy of natural science, uh, things that, you know, scholars in those fields can't agree on, things that, or, or, or things that you can't uh, address through empiricism or with, you know, established methods, formal logic and things like that, you address with philosophical analysis. Um, that would be the meta-theoretical approach. The reason I'm talking about this is because I think it is relevant to what we're going to be dealing with in ethics in, in our class because um, one of the parts of the debate that goes on in information ethics is, you know, is does information ethics warrant its own area of study? Um, is it unique enough? Um, there are some people that say, uh, and it's kind of a spectrum, and we'll see that in, in, in some of the readings. Uh, there's some that argue that uh, what's going on right now with with digital technology is, is so novel that that information ethics is is this completely new thing that warrants its own field of study. And so it would almost be like that. What is X question in the phenomenological sense? Um, not quite. I'm I'm kind of fudging this. Uh, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of using it as a segue uh, uh, to kind of